every time I say love note, it's really uncomfortable. As if saying love letters is is somehow more comfortable. Uh, you know, it's short format love letter. You, you know, something to watch until the uh, until the big dog comes down. Uh, we'll try to we'll try to get these things to you once a month so that you you know when you know when the air date is. I actually have a handkerchief on my head this whole time. <laughs> I'm growing a beard. You know, it's for the ladies. Yeah, it's not getting me any ladies. Um, I don't know, man. Fucking bean plants. <laughs> Fuck, man. It made it. It made you question everything, man. Punk rock, skateboarding, all of that. Everything that came together at once for me. It made us. It made me question the world around me and made me want to know about things. When before that, I didn't give a shit about knowing about shit. Skateboarding will open up the world to you. All off of just being a fucking little prick. I learned everything I know about life, which isn't much, because of my skateboard. Life of a professional skateboarder. Lounge around all day, do absolutely nothing. Well, it's time to go ride your wooden toy. <laughs> Life sure is great. I can't get away from this thing. I can barely fucking walk. I'm trying to find my way back to my skateboard. You know, that's brutal. I, I don't know what to do without it. I am completely emotionally retarded without it. What do I do? I'm a 47-year-old man. What do I do if I can't have that in my life anymore? I, you know, I've spent my entire life chasing the rush, chasing the fun, just mainlining the shit. Bam! Straight to the source. Backset air. Lean air. This drugs definitely took skateboarding from me. And that's unacceptable. I've had a skateboard in my life since it was the only consistent thing that has been in my world since I was four years old. There's always been a skateboard. It, it, wherever Jeff is, there's a pair of fucking tennis shoes, a pair of shorts, some half-assed t-shirt, and a skateboard. Everything else is interchangeable, right? There's always the skateboard leaning up against the wall. I may or may not own a car, but I definitely own a skateboard. And then one day, Drugs took my skateboard. Get out of here! And that's, that was unacceptable, so drugs had to go. Like what people pay fucking millions of dollars and give their lives for, uh, you know, trying to duplicate chemically, you can do with a fucking toy. Uh, like, and it's fun, it's good times, it's exercise, it's, it's calisthenics. What's a uh, cardio? <laughs> That's when you know you're old. Yeah, right? When you're using skateboarding as cardio? <laughs> nothing. Nothing gets between me and it. Uh, you know, except for this failing shell of a fucking manatee like body. <laughs> <laughs> the underlying philosophy of skateboarding. Maybe this skateboarding thing is pretty good because Jeff gets money. It's obvious I'm greedy. It's not about selling fucking shoes. It's not about selling skateboards. It's not about fucking sugar water. It's not about anything that anybody thinks that it's about. It's about a couple of kids being like-minded, finding one another, and fucking walking out their front door and exploring the world around them and how they view it. Right? Like, there it is. And, and having fun. <laughs> Fuck, whatever. Go skateboarding. Fuck this. When I was 47 years old, Dwayne Peters gave me this handkerchief. He no longer will speak to me, but I have the handkerchief and the love for him. This is a love note.
We love you, Dwayne. Skateboarding is the greatest freak show on earth. Click here to see more. Love letters to skateboarding.